Hello everyone, thank you for joining me at stampinyourself.com. My name is Connie Ray and today's tutorial is these gorgeous little note cards for boys, for men, because I don't know about you, but I always find it really hard, number one, to find a nice male card and number two, actually make a nice male card. So I've come up with this gorgeous little design <clears throat> using our Stamping Up um, Guy Greetings set. Um, I purchased this one last year, I think it was in the, in the uh, other catalog, annual catalogue as well as this year. And I liked it because it covers grandpa, it covers brother, it covers husband, it covers father. And it's got some really lovely male embellishments and um, male um, sentiments and images. And it does work out really well. So you can make up out of one sheet of paper, you can get um, two, three, three, hang on. One, two, three cards, three uh, of these note cards out of one sheet of cardstock. So that's kind of handy. And then you can just have them ready to go. And you don't need to have to put father if you don't want to, or husband or brother or whatever. You can use the other sentiments that are in it. So um, I'll just show you that. I'll put this aside. Now, I've, I've already done a lot of preparation work so that you don't have to sit here for hours listening to me gibber on. Um, a bit of an exaggeration though. Okay, this is the guy greeting set. Okay, it comes in as two, two stamp sets. And today we have used the the little, uh, my, my husband said that this is a Ford. So as far as I know, it's a Ford. So I've used that one. Uh, let me see, there he is. There's the Ford. I've used the, the hats and the sailor's anchor and the shoes so they're really quite cute and it's always good to have them on hand because boys are so hard and i find that they don't really need a big card they don't need a big card they just need a little note card with the sentiment on the outside and inside you're just writing your in it so I find that it's quite handy, especially if you've got a lot of boys in your family, which I have. So as I was suggesting before, even though I used brother, father, uncle, uh, husband and grandfather, it's actually got brother, let me bring this over, it's got brother, father, uncle, but it's also got happy birthday, so you can use that. It's got the world's greatest. It's got a, a muscly man there, which is really quite funny. Um, it's got grandpa, dad and husband. It's also got no one else could fill your shoes. So that goes really nice with the shoe sentiment. Uh, sorry, the shoe um, image. You're my anchor to a classic. Uh, thanks thanks for this and all the other life lessons that you've given me. Happy Father's Day. Hats off to you and congratulations. So there's quite a few stamps in this stamp that cover men, which is really good because I, find, no, I do really find it hard to make male cards because you can't really pretty them up or put a bow or put some bling or whatever so it is a bit tricky however this might get you um through a, um, a couple of tough spots <clears throat> so i'll try not to waffle on too much people because you know that i do waffle on a little bit too much okay so i have used some whisper white cardstock and i'll do two today so that um uh it's quicker Okay, so you need some Whisper White cardstock. You need to have some damp dem denim cardstock. Um, a little piece of designer series paper, which is what I put just here. You can see that little line there. It just breaks it up and it gives a little bit of point of interest. And it's not too female-y. So a little piece of designer series paper, whatever colour you want. I find that black often does create a nice... Um, point of interest and this one also sets off the image and just gives you a little bit of interest in the card um, if you haven't got designer series paper don't panic because it doesn't matter if you don't you don't have to use it you can use a little strip of black paper so we've got your your white cardstock your white cardstock is going to be let me get my measurements eight let me just work this bit out for you before i jump ahead too quickly it's going to be eight inches in length it's going to be three and a half inches I need something dark to put under that I'll put my hand there three and a half inches in width and it's going to be scored 
down the middle at four inches. And that's going to give you your cardstock and your card. You need to have a, let me see, damper denim. This is the color that I've used for the bottom of my card. And of course, you can use any color you want. It's entirely up to you, but I just liked these colors for male. Um, so I used the damper denim, which is the new one of the new colors. That is three quarters in width, just three little quarters along there. And in the length, it's four inches, obviously, because it's going to be the same width as your card oh i think i said that backwards okay so it's four inches in width hang on let me get that right wait a minute okay it's three and a half inches in width <laughs> and it's three quarters um i still think i've got that wrong but anyway look it's three quarters that way <laughs> And it's three and a half that way. So basically, it's going to be the width of your card, and it's just going to be um, three quarters in um, size. Okay, and when we've got the, I'll use black paper, uh, sorry, black craft cardstock because a lot of people won't have the same design series paper that I have used. And I'll just show you that it just works just as well. And you just have to line it up, stick it together, and obviously pop it on. And it will have that same effect. So if you want to, you can just use black cardstock. I've got my images all popped out. I've already stamped them. So I'll just pop this here. Okay, now when it comes to the little, um, uh, where are we? Let's have a look at Grandpa's card. Okay, we've got the little hats here. Okay, so when it comes to putting on the images, I have used the, let me get the right name for these ones. These are the framelits. Tag, tags and label framelits. I've used these, one, the biggest one for the black one and the small one for the brown one which goes around the image like so. Now these actually come in six sizes and they sort of fit into each other but when some of them fit into each other directly or whatever they kind of look a bit funny and you can't really tell them apart. So the way that they are put together in the little packet that you get them for. There's actually six of them and um, for me to actually identify I suppose the easiest way is what I did is I went in and I numbered them one to six because you get six of these plus you get um, six um, tags in a scallopy shape sort of thing I'll show you. It's this one and then you've got six of different ones of these but because they all sit together and they're all um, you know put together uh, in a funny way it's really hard to identify when you're looking at it which ones I've used so for me I numbered them one to six really easily I just put the numbers on the frames so that I could see and I could remember which ones I've used so in this instance I've used number six which is our largest one in the little square and I've used number three which is our one two three third largest or third smallest whichever way you want to look at it, for the brown so the big one was for the black to create the little frame and the third number three I used for the brown to create the little um, border around the stamped image and these go really well together because they look really cute and it's a great way to put a little border around the stamp I think so it works really well for that so that's what I've used I've used number three and number six if you're going to number them one to six regardless of size going up that's the best thing that you can do is just put a number on it so you know what you're doing that's it worked for me like that anyway so kind of happy that um, I found a system for that so when it came to construction I used um, something I'm not going to use here tonight um, I've embossed the name in white with white embossing powder uh, sorry the sentiment grandpa so this is for grandpa I also used a couple of little um, buttons with some linen thread that I had left over from my supplies now stamping up don't make these anymore they don't supply them but um, for tonight's tutorial I'm going to use um, blue enamel dots and pop those on oh is that too quick no I have not so I'm going to use a little couple of blue dots to, to put on to um, the card that we're doing tonight so that you can see how that works just as nicely so if you wanted to get um, some adhesive um, in what do they call them they call them enamel shapes get them in whatever colors you want they will work just as well so don't worry about the buttons in the linen thread but if you want to you can put black buttons on I'm sure if you dig around home you're going to find some buttons somewhere that's for sure there's always a button hanging around <laughs> so um, basically 
as I go, I'll just explain any changes that I've made and I will give you the quickest way of actually putting a card together. So once you've done all your, your basic image cutting and designing and, and all of that, which I have done, um, the only other thing that I did change when I was doing the preparation was I decided to emboss with clear. Now, if you emboss with clear, the image that you embossed with clear will stay that color. So if these were cars were in pink and I embossed with clear embossing powder, they would still be pink. So the same has happened here. I've embossed with the basic black and I've stamped with the basic black and I've put clear embossing powder over. And what that's done is put a little bit of a shine on my image and it's given it a bit of depth. You could see it if we were lucky and you probably can't yeah I can see it there and it's the same with the shoes the second one that I'm going to do tonight so initially when I have done this on the cards you'll see that it's got this matte effect and on this cardstock sorry I should have um, finished off with my cardstock this is black cardstock and this is tip top top in the brown um yeah so I probably didn't tell you that before but it will be on my um on my blog Gosh, I'm all tongue-tied again. Okay, so um, this is basically um, what we're doing. But what I was getting at was I still, even though I've um, embossed the ones that we're using tonight for the tutorial, I kind of like the old world kind of stampy thing that it does. It doesn't have a shine and it looks more like a newspaper effect, if that makes sense. So, you know, I'm quite happy with it the way that it is, but I thought that I would use the embossing powder, um, the clear embossing powder, just, just to show you and tell you that you can use it to use any colour embossing, sorry, any ink you want and use the clear embossing powder to actually go over the top and keep that colour but also give it a bit of shine. So I'm quite happy with what I've done. Would you like you might like to have it embossed. I don't know. Here's uh let me go, let me get this one. There's two together there. You can see the difference. One's kind of matte and one's kind of shiny. I suppose at the end of the day is really just a preference. Um to me I prefer the matty kind of one because I like the darkest. I like the fact that it's dark er uh, but not necessarily shiny. But I do like the matte look because it, if you're giving one to grandpa, it's kind of old worldly kind of feeling. So, yeah, I kind of like it either way, really. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, just to make it quick and easy, we're just going to, I use Tombow again on my cards only because there's a bit of lining up. And I fumble with my bits and pieces just the same way that I fumble with my words. <laughs> so, um, just to make it easy, so I'm just going to put the trim onto the cardstock and make sure I've got it exactly even on both ends. And the Tombow gives me time to do that, so it doesn't grab straight away. I've got time to get it in alignment with um, oh, my image. Sorry, my piece of cardstock that I want, and I'm pretty sure it's in alignment and it's straight. So when I turn it over, it will go on to the card straight. And it will look straight. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Right, and I might just put another little bit of Tombow just across the top there. And then we're just going to stick that at the end of the card. Now, if you wanted to do a bigger card, of course you can do a bigger card. Um, but you just need to adjust your um, pieces of colour that you're putting at the bottom. So there's no reason why you can't do that. Make a bigger card if you want to, using the same sort of colors okay so just sticking it right on the very end of your card and already it looks quite pleasant doesn't it it's quite nice for a guy i think i often stick a little piece of black along sides and stuff like that um, just when i'm doing designs just to um just give a point of interest and it just looks just interesting it just takes off the blandness of one color and just lifts it lifts it a bit and i find that black is good for that just a very thin strip you don't want to do too thick okay and again we're just going to do this here just going to make sure it's lined up i'm using my grid paper to line it up if you've got a good eye and you get it all worked out i'm happy that you can i just need to fiddle a bit with some things for a bit longer but usually 
it'll all come out in the wash as they say yep that looks good to me so i'll just put a little bit more black oh, sorry tombow i haven't done a tutorial since the last one and i've got some new subscribers so i'm really happy i'm sort of thinking oh people actually like what i'm doing that's fantastic really good and that's encouraging too because um you sort of think oh well these people like what i'm doing so i'm going to keep doing it why not got nothing to lose okay but i'm really happy that we've got new subscribers and welcome that's all i can say about that okay that looks pretty good but hopefully that's straight i hope i was in camera shot then i probably wasn't probably got, probably got my head stuck over the top oh no that, you would have seen me do it okay so that's the second one see that's not hard to do all right but it does make it look really nice now if you wanted to you could just stamp a nice little sentiment there you know like just play around with the stamp set if you've got it but i found that these um, little guys just looked so cute together the way that they put them together and now i didn't put dimensionals on the put those over there i didn't put dimensionals in between these two i just used tombow um, I put dimensionals under the black one though to lift it. So I'm just going to stick my brown tip top top onto my little black card. My other label, I should say, because they are sort of labels, aren't they? The other ones are tags, these are labels. And they look good, I like them. I really like this set. I said that before when I first used it. Oh, the difference here with this little one is that I decided to change the feet around. So you've got one set of feet going that way and one set going that way because they um, the stamp itself is only two, like a set of shoes. So I put two there just to give it that balance. And there's something I did with the hats as well that I need to tell you about, and I'll do that in a second because the hats I, did, I have done a little bit differently as well. And the anchor I did do a little bit differently as well. So, okay, so... Basically, I use the Tombow for anything that I need to line up and have it exactly matching. So for things like this, I use Tombow. They kind of look cute, don't they? They're so cute. All right, so I need to put on some dimensionals now. Um, I tried to use um, some, and what did I try to, to use? I tried to use some black baker's twine, which I liked, but I just felt for the note cards, I didn't need that much. So... Um, I don't like putting, I try and keep my cards very masculine if I'm going to make men's cards. Um, it's very easy to put a flower on, really easy. And some men do like flowers and some men like bling. I get that. But when I'm making a card um, for a male, I don't really like to use, especially if it's a male that I don't know. Um, it depends. It, all, it just depends. Everybody's different. But this is a good basis for you to start on um, your design and because you can do whatever you want to adapt it to the kind of person that you're giving it to as we always do all right so here we go we're just going to put this hopefully a little bit down from the top not all the way down a couple of inches in or a couple of millimeters i should say let me try that again because if you go that's straight. Hopefully it's straight. No, it doesn't look straight, does it? Let me see. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay, let me lift that up quickly, which you can do if you're quick enough. Okay, just move it over a little bit, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. I think that's a bit better. I think that one's probably a little bit too high up for my liking. Hmm. Probably a little bit too high, but there you go. It is a bit too high for me. I prefer it to be lower, just a just a fraction lower, because it can make the card look a little bit off skew if you try and um, if you don't center it in your white space. But that's all right. Live and learn. So this one, I'm going to pop it down a little bit more towards the middle, but not entirely in the middle. There we go. I don't know if I've actually made much of a difference there, but basically they're okay i'm just being fussy probably because i am a bit fussy when it comes to doing these things yeah they're probably both a little bit too high for me but 
it doesn't matter. These ones aren't too high. You can see that they're more balanced. And I, I wasn't on camera, so it was easier for me to do. When I'm on camera, I get a bit nervy. So um, I do apologise. But it's okay. It's all learning. Okay, so one thing that I have forgotten to do is to emboss the names on the bottom. And, of course, that is going to be fine because we can do it now. So I have used on my... Um, sentiment I have used what did I use I used my famous this mark which is what I love to use and I used um, white embossing powder so I will do that now make sure that your, your stamp is really well inked we know how this works don't we I've done this before so make sure it's really well inked up and because I've already stuck it on, there is no second time round. So we have to get it right. <laughs> but that's easy. It's easier. The, the best practice is to actually emboss before you put your item down. Just in case things don't work or you haven't got it straight or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Because if you don't get it right, you've got to, you've lost your card. And you don't really want to go to that trouble of doing it all again, do you? So again, I'm going to bring my embossing powder in whoop, over everything and just emboss the bottom and I don't want to get any of it well it'll blow off and I didn't use my embossing buddy so hopefully it won't be too detrimental mad practice and just brush off that extra bit that I don't need around there just do a little bit Okay. And the next stamp that I was going to use, I have used rubber on that one. And I am going to use look, grandpa. I love grandpa's. It's such a nice word. Yeah, Grandpa. I thought that was really sweet. I love the names. I wouldn't, like, if it was me giving a present. Uh, Father's Day is good. You can probably put Grandpa for Father's Day or Brother for Father's Day. But personally, I liked um, just the fact that they've got the option there. But I think when you're giving a card, you can just pop, on the blue part, you can just pop Happy Birthday, I think, or Happy Father's Day, whatever the sentiment is. It doesn't really matter. As long as you pop in whatever you're happy with really at the end of the day grandpa okay so I've got my sentiments popped on there now for embossing and it does make a difference when you emboss it really does it just changes the whole game of what your card looks like don't mind me I'm just blowing off all my excess which is very uncool but I'm doing it And now I'm just going to emboss, or I might just turn on my gun, so you might hear a bit of a whir. Always good to start with a hot gun rather than a cold gun. So I'm just going to turn my gun on just so it starts warming up while I'm actually putting on my embossing powder because it, does, it doesn't warp the paper as much and um, it's just that little bit more user-friendly for your embossing. It's always a good tip. At least if you picked up one tip, it's better than picking up no tips. So, there we go. There we go. A flick and a whisper of puff and you're done. Magic. Okay, so the embossing part is done. Lucky me. Actually, the rubber one, I would like it to be a little bit more embossed, I think. I don't know if I can get any more powder on it, but I might be able to. It might still be a little bit on the wet side. I'll see if I can get it 
to grab a bit more, probably because I didn't use my embossing buddy. But you never know. Anything can happen. Maybe I just puffed it too hard and blew it all off. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. You can also use your um, little stylus just to clean it up if you've got bits on it that you're not happy with. So I'm having a quick look now. Because I didn't use my embossing buddy, it hasn't, it, um, oh no, it's not too bad. I'm just being fussy. There's nothing wrong with fussy, is there? As long as you don't drive other people crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to quickly, my gun should be nice and hot now, so I'm just going to pop that onto Grandpa. And you'll see that it actually works quicker and it doesn't actually, um, it doesn't take as long, but it also doesn't warp your card even as much as it could if you've got to sit with it for too long. Come on, Grandpa. You're taking too long. There we go. And it does stand up really nice. Just looks a little bit better. Just run a bit of um, heat on the back just to bring the card back into shape. There we go. There's Grandpa. And his dear old brother. I think it's this embossing gun. It's got to be kind of really on top of everything for it to be able to work well. I'm sure that stamping up is better, but I just haven't. Well, I haven't bothered to get one probably because I've already got this one. But I don't know. Every time I get something from stamping up, I'm always amazed at, at the quality of the product and the coordinating stuff. But I just think. I can't do better anywhere else. I've tried, but I can't. It's always the same story. And I'm sure you might be able to relate to that a bit if you're a Stamping Up fan, as they say. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so so far we've got Brother and we've got Grandpa. Nicely embossed. The sentiments aren't all that well put on, are they? our images not happy with these images people not happy but anyway it's one of those things that's going to annoy me till the cows come home okay that's a little bit better it's probably as good as it's going to get yeah okay now um what else have we got left oh yes that's right i did the buttons for mine but to be honest um as i said i've run out of those buttons i'm not going to use those buttons today but i am going to use a couple of enamel dots okay just as a little bit of an accent should I put another color there I should should know let's put another color We've got blue and ooh, burnt orange looks kind of good there we go you can put them there or you can put them there it's entirely up to you and on this one my image is not straight and it's driving me crazy but that's okay and let me see let's put a green just to be different okay maybe not okay well, let's put a red there we go Okay, and guess what? As much as that was as fumbling around as I've done, it's all okay. So there you have it. There we go. Okay, so my cards look a little bit different. Um, maybe you can look at different embellishments. I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, you can see the embossing and the difference that it makes. Um, it does look a little bit better. I always think that embossing always makes your stuff look better. It always makes the quality look better. See, Grandpa just looks really good embossed. Um, and I did emboss it on my four original designs. And I do like the buttons. So if you can find some buttons, Stampin' Up! do have some buttons. But I did find that the buttons that they now carry are a little bit like they've got the, um, what have they got? They've got the um, these ones here, which are... Let's see. Designer very vintage. 
and that's nice and I did try them but they just seemed a little bit too big for me to like but you know you might like them so they do carry those ones you can use those if you don't like the little brads that I've used the enamel dots or you can just use any but it does make nice use of that that white space that you've got there so you know keep that in mind you want to make sure that it's all balanced when you're finished at the end of the day now the other thing i had to tell you was that this one which is the anchor which was umbrella it is um no i don't have to tell you that because it's already been i didn't make it i was going to say the difference in this one is it's going long because it's longer that's the only difference in that one this one has a um this set of hats is actually six so you want to stamp the image and you want to mask off two of the hats to make it four so that it fits in. That's the only other thing that I've done differently. And, of course, I didn't emboss my, my pictures, my images. I wanted to maintain the matte kind of look that they presented. And, again, as I said, you can use either sentiment that you want on them. But basically, they're good mail cards. You can make them in any size that you want. And they're a good foundation using the... Um, tags and labels framelets because you will get that border and you'll get that image all on one you've got the little um, design series paper if that's your choice or if you haven't got any black cardstock you've got the damp denim cardstock and or any color so if you want to do them any color and combination it just pretties up a little note card that's really all it does and then you can write your sentimental stamp inside and make a little envelope to go with it and if you get time and you've got time to go through the trouble of making one make a few so that you've got them put aside for men and you can also give them to male teachers as presents um i suppose well you can add them to they're good for male teachers anyway so a box of cards for men or a box of cards for someone that you know has men in their family i've got all boys lots of boys more males and females in, in our family so um, i'm always on the lookout for a male card so that's why i sort of decided i was going to make this one anyway Thanks for putting up with my gibbering and um, thanks and welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm really happy that people are liking everything. And keep subscribing and keep liking. If you want to purchase any of the items that you've seen today, they will all be on my blog. And it's also on the link up the top in Facebook, up in the right hand corner, up the top. Just click it, we'll go straight to the shop. You can just purchase anything that you need and just check out. No matter where you live in Australia, you can do that. Um, even if you use this tutorial for something else, I'm really happy that it would be useful for you. Um, any questions, please feel free to drop me a line. Thank you for stopping by and um, I will hopefully, well I'm sure I will have another new design to come up with and share with you shortly, well as soon as possible anyway. So um, take care everybody and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you.